This week's storm damaged trees across the post, but probably none as dramatic as the backyard of this house, located just off Llewellyn Avenue down the street from the Post Chapel. And if you believe the forecasters, we're in for a colder month in March than we had in February. Hello and welcome to a St. Patrick's Day edition of Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, hiring freeze impacts AFI's facilities, changes to eligibility at the gyms, and some job search news. These stories and more, but first some construction news. On Saturday, March 18th, construction crews will be working around the Mapes Road and Maryland 175 intersection. A portion of Mapes Road will be temporarily closed, stretching from Ernie Pyle Street to Hawkins Avenue. Fort Meade Police recommend that everyone avoid this area Saturday and use an alternate route. In other news, the current government hiring freeze has impacted AFI's food service operations at Fort Meade. AFI's officials say that 19 critical positions are currently vacant. As a result, hours of operations at most of the AFI's restaurant outlets have been forced to adjust their hours of operation. The temporary hours went into effect last week. Burger King is closing an hour earlier each day of the week and opening later on weekends. Domino's closes earlier daily and is closed Sundays. Arby's opening time is now 10 a.m. Monday through Friday and 11 a.m. weekends. Arby's, like the others, is closing earlier. Charlie's closes two hours earlier Monday through Saturday and opens an hour later on Sunday. And finally, Boston Market is closing an hour earlier and all day Sunday. Afi says that when the hiring freeze is lifted and staffing is back to normal, normal hours will resume. Meanwhile, MWR is changing the eligibility policy at the Gaffney and Murphy Fitness Centers. MWR officials say the fitness centers are funded based on the active duty service member population. Currently, these funds aren't taking into account the wear and tear on the facilities and equipment by the numbers of people using the gym. Additionally, they say by trying to accommodate the majority of people on post, MWR is jeopardizing their ability to provide a first-class fitness center for active duty service members. The new eligibility change goes into effect April 1st. Here's a brief outline of those changes. DOD contract personnel and their family members will no longer be eligible. Non-Department of Defense employees will no longer be eligible. Children of DOD civilians can use the facilities up to the age of 21. And the same goes for children of retired DOD civilians. Elsewhere, I have some job search information news for you. There are a couple of job fairs coming up, but before we get to those details, the Fleet and Family Support Center is offering a seminar on how to work a job fair. The seminar is Tuesday, March 21st from 9 to 12. As I said, there are a couple of opportunities to use those newfound skills. There's a technical job fair Wednesday, March 22nd from 9 to 2 at Club Mead. Bring your resumes, and if you like a list of potential employers, visit www.mead.armymwr.com. Next month, the McGill Training Center is hosting the Military Spouse Job Fair. It's scheduled for Wednesday, April 26th from 9 to noon. It's a spouse fair, but all DOD ID card holders are welcome. Event registration is encouraged. Go to eventbrite.com and search for Fort Meade. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great St. Patrick's Day weekend and a great Meade Week. March is Women's History Month. The DOD supports the empowerment of military women as they dedicate their lives to protect our nation. We honor the contributions of women in the armed forces. They continue to lead our nation's defense into the future with character, courage, and commitment. Visit defense.gov to learn more about women in the military. Transfer complete. America's service members and veterans are strong, forged out of bravery, sacrifice, and duty. Sometimes reaching out for help can be the most challenging and worthwhile mission of all. When you recognize something isn't right, make the call to the Veterans Crisis Line or Military Crisis Line. Dial 1-800-273-8255 and press 1.